Hi and welcome to the second episode of Azure with Simon. And today we are going to learn how can you can create an Azure chatbot in less than five minutes. You need not require any prior experience in building a bot and you can straight away get started. The only prerequisite for this video is that you have a free trial Azure subscription because we are going to make a bot on Microsoft Azure, which is a cloud computing platform. Now you can see I'm logged in on portal.azure.com. That is the link for the portal of Microsoft Azure. And once you're logged in here, the very first thing that you need to do is click on the top left that says create a resource. So on the top in the search tab, just write bot and you'll get first option as web app bot. Click on it. Now it will say an Azure bot service bot deployed on Azure app service web. You can build, connect, deploy and manage bots to interact with your users whenever they are from your app or your website and you can also integrate with Skype, Messenger and many other services. In this tutorial, we are going to integrate our web app bot with the Skype. Now click on this create button. Now we need to give our bot name. So I'll name it as Azure with Simon bot. You need to find a subscription. I have Azure for strength. I'll go with that. Now you know what is a resource group. So resource group is a collection of different services that you build in Microsoft Azure. Either you can create one or you can use an existing one. I'm going to use Azure with Simon for existing resource. Location remains my central US. Pricing tier is 1k PM messages per unit. My app name will remain Azure with Simon the right bit. I think I need to change it to bot. Right? My app name will host at dot azure website dot net. Bot template. I click on this bot template and then you see I get two options. Either the first one is simple bot that equals the user message or the second one is a bot that has language understanding and bot analysis. I want you to click on it as it has a Lewis that is a language understanding intelligence service already integrated in it. Where do you want to host your Lewis app? Uh, West US East Australia. That's totally fine with that. Okay. Now we need not care about the app service location, app inside. Just make sure that Microsoft app ID and password you have clicked on auto create. You can always get these IDs back again so once you've done all with that click on create so deployment takes some time and once you have done and if you click on your azure simon bot you can see this is the overview we have the resource group as azure with simon and the subscription for azure for students now in a way to test our chat bot in the left side under the bot management you have a link that says test in web chat click on it now this is exactly a type of chat emulator that is online that you can use for example if I say hi it says welcome to bot framework how can I help you with today say something like book a flight from Paris to Berlin March 22 or something let me give it a try as book me a flight to London It says, where are you traveling from? I would say I'm traveling from Paris. When would you like to travel? Let's say 27th July. I'm sorry, to make your booking, please enter full travel date, including day, month and year. So I think they wanted 27th July 2019. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, I'm traveling from London to Paris on 29.7.207. Click on yes. I booked your flight from London to Paris on this Saturday. So you see, this is just a demo on how you can actually build it. So it's like an entire template that you can also download it and get started with the coding. How do we do that? You need to click on build on the left side. From here, you can click on download bot source code and it will give you a zip file which you can open it in a Visual Studio 
and start editing it now once you have made this bot you can also connect it to different channels like facebook messenger slack skype so do to do that come to the bot management and under that you'll find channels click on it and you can see we have various channel available you can add on facebook email line telegram slack twilo as of now we are going to integrate it with the skype so we'll click on skype and it would say a web control lets you enable bot in your own website click on the messaging calling i don't think so we need to do anything over here display name so you will use the display tab if you want to publish it to more than 100 uh, something like 100 contacts and they, they can actually go and download it but we are not going to do that as of now so we are just going to cancel it and come back to this channel page and you can see right now even skype is integrated with our chatbot so i click on skype and we'll get a link that says join skype.com with a bot link and we can actually add this bot to our skype so i click on add to contact so it may take you to a sign in page and ask you would like to open skype in your system you have to click on open skype now here you get to see a window that says Azure with Simon Bot. What are the capabilities you can do and what are the privacies? You can either block or you can also delete it. So we are done with it. We'll close our bot, this the top. So we now have our Azure with Simon Bot running and we can actually say hey. So the bot actually takes something around 10 to 15 minutes to get connected with your Skype or any other channels and then you can start actually interacting. So you can already see I have been trying a lot for a very long time to connect with it. So it took almost I should say around 15 minutes to get integrated with the Skype channel and now you can actually start talking to this bot just the same way you did on the web portal of the Azure like book a flight to Paris right so the bot will respond here and then see you can it is asking where you're traveling from and then you may even say Delhi or whatever maybe the, you want to do okay so that was a very small example of how you can build bots on Azure of course there's a lot more to learn I would suggest you to go to the build and actually download the source code and start changing it over there also to learn about Lewis platform and the entire Azure documentation where you can go and learn a lot more about this Microsoft bot this was a very simple way to get started that's all from my side in this video thank you so much for watching i upload videos on every monday wednesday and friday don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel see you in the next video